testimony, it certainly the intent of the bill is to totally parallel be tied to the federal so that if all of these concerns need are obviously concerns that anyone would have to make sure that they don't un, inappropriately fall under the federal estate tax as I indicated as far as closely held businesses and farms it is 20 state nationwide last year. With that, however, given the specificity of some of the concerns, if it is the will of the subcommittee, I would hope that you would uh, report, move to carry over, report to carry over, so that we can work at these details and make sure that everybody is comfortable at every provision that we are uh, tying this to the federal estate tax and its uh, limits and requirements. Delegate Watts, let me make sure I understand your last suggestion. Are you suggesting carrying over to the next meeting while you work on this, or are you talking about till next I, Let us carry over for the year. I, again, this is tax policy that is extremely important for the Commonwealth, and I want to make sure that, that there is the understanding both from the business and certainly from the agricultural landholders, as well as uh, interests such as the Family Foundation, when you look at those who are paying taxes and who are not paying taxes uh, in a system that should be far more progressive than it is. Mr. Chair, I have a motion. Elliot Keem. I'd move that we carry over House Bill 736 under Rule 22 to 2021 year. Sorry. It's been a motion to carry the bill over to next year under Rule 22. That's a recorded vote. Clerk will please open the rolls. Oh, we can do that by voice vote? That's right. Voice vote. All in favor? Any opposed? Bill is carrying over. Delegate Watts, uh, did I, I understand? to strike the next bill. That's right. So I, 